Hi, this is Trevor with Road Bike City, and today I'll show you how to put together a City Bicycle Company fixed gear bike, fresh out of the box. Some tools you need to get started are a 15 millimeter wrench, three, four, and five millimeter Allen keys, and a box cutter knife. First, open the box, pull out the seat, and remove the packaging. Fit the seat post into the seat tube. Leave plenty of space and tighten with a 5mm Allen key. In the seat, pick the bike up out of the box and place it onto your workbench. Now it's time to take the packaging off. Have fun! Once the packaging is off, you can now mount the handlebars. Loosen the stem clamp bolts one by one using your 4mm Allen key. Now put your handlebar on. Replace the stem clamp and place each bolt in one at a time, finger tightening. Now, using your 4mm Allen key, tighten each bolt down the rest of the way. Make sure to use a uniform tightness on each bolt to ensure that the stem clamp is perfectly tightened throughout. Use your 5mm Allen key to remove the bolt from the brake lever. Place the brake lever back on your handlebar in the desired position and use your Allen key to tighten the bolt down the rest of the way. Be sure to cinch it down so that it doesn't move. Now it's time to adjust your stem. Using your Allen key, loosen up the bottom and the top bolts on your stem. Once loosened, you can adjust the handlebar position to match your wheel position so that it's properly aligned. Once it's properly aligned, tighten back down the bolts with your Allen key and cinch them down to make sure that they're tight enough so that it won't move. Now let's get into the parts box. First thing you'll see in the parts box is the user manual. Then you'll see that there's a multi-tool with all your Allen keys you'll need. There's your pedals both right and left, nicely packaged. And another multi-tool for everything you'll need to set up the bike. To install your pedals, first grab a tube of bike grease. This one is made by Park Tool. Then, to locate which pedal is your right and which pedal is your left, simply look at the end of the spindle and see which one says WR and WL. Put on a few dabs of bike grease onto the pedal threads. And if you're installing the left hand pedal first like I am, make sure you turn it counterclockwise into the pedal arm. This is absolutely important because if you turn it clockwise, it will strip the threads. Hand tighten it down as far as it'll go, and then use a 15mm wrench to crank it down the rest of the way. For your right pedal, put a little bit of grease on as well, and then turn it clockwise into the crank arm and tighten it down until it's fairly tight. And the trick I use is to use your 15 millimeter wrench and pedal the bike backwards. This will tighten the pedal into place. Once the pedal's tightened, use your wrench and crank it down the rest of the way. To install the front wheel, first loosen the bolts to the outside of the axles without taking them off. Slide the wheel into the fork dropouts and tighten the bolts back down. Then use your 15 millimeter wrench to cinch the wheel down all the way. Make sure it's properly tightened and aligned so that the wheel isn't off to one side or the other. Adjust the front brake. Use a five millimeter Allen key to loosen the main bolt on the brake cable. Then, using your other hand, clamp the brake caliper shut while you tighten that bolt back down onto the cable. Then grab a 10 millimeter box wrench and loosen up each pad so that you can put it into place where it's properly supposed to go and tighten it back down. Your wheel should spin smoothly without any interference from the brakes. Now I'll show you how to change it from a single speed to a fixed gear bike. Grab a 3mm Allen key and loosen up the chain tensioner on both sides of the wheel set. Then take your 15mm wrench 
and loosen the axle bolt on both sides. One trick I use to make it easier to remove the wheel is to take the chain off of the front chain ring first, then the rear cog. Simply take the wheel out, turn it around, and put it back on to make it fix gear. Putting the chain back on is easy. Put it on the same way it came off. Put it on the front chain ring first, and then the rear cog. As you're tightening down the wheel set, be sure to keep the rear wheel aligned properly inside the dropouts. Grab your 3mm Allen key and tighten the chain tensioners down first before you tighten the bolts down. Be sure to leave a little bit of slack in the chain, because if it's over tightened, the chain will see more stress over the years, because riding fixed gear puts more stress on the chain. Use your 15mm wrench to tighten the bolts down to both sides equally but make sure it's tightened all the way so that it doesn't come loose while you ride. This bike comes with a Presta valve. To operate a Presta valve, first take the cap off, then turn the valve stem counterclockwise so that it opens up. Take your bike pump that has a Presta valve pull on it, push it down firmly, close the cap, and pump it up to 110 PSI. These bikes have a maximum pressure of 110. Once it's pumped up all the way, open the cap and pull the pump out. You'll need to use some force. Turn the valve cap clockwise so that it closes and put the valve stem back on. Same thing goes for the rear. Take the cap off, turn the valve stem counterclockwise, put the bike pump onto the valve stem, close the clamp, and pump up to 110 PSI. To remove, do the exact opposite. This bike comes with the decal separate from the bicycle, so you'll need to apply it yourself. Application is fairly simple. Put the sticker down in your desired position. Press down to the center first. Move from one end to the other smoothly. Go back and forth across the top, much like a printer does when it prints out paper. This will ensure that you will have the least amount of air bubbles and that the sticker will go on smoothly. So we fully assembled the City Bicycle Company in Brooklyn. We're super psyched to get this thing out on the streets and uh, ride it around a little bit, see how it rides, and, uh, and see how it feels. So let's get that going. <laughs>